Okay? What do you call this roughened surface? What kind of muscle? Pectinate. What is this muscle? Trabeculae. The trabeculae rise up and form papillary muscles like this one that hold, like that, that hold the actual ligament. These ones here, these ligament like things, what are they called? Ligamentarium, cordae uh, tendinae. Cordae tendinae, right, okay. We obviously have what valve here? Between the right atrium and the right the tricuspid. Tricuspid. Here we have the semilunars, all right, going into the pulmonary trunk. Here we have the opening to the coronary sinus. Here we have the orifice to the inferior vena cava, which we're saying over there, okay. and your AV node there. Oh, I see. Okay. So this one, when the atrium contracts, these two touch? No. No? Just the impulse crosses the atrium. Oh, through to the, the, okay. to the walls of the muscle. Okay. Here we have the right coronary. So here we have the right interventricular, probably the right coronary, I should say, between the atrial ventricular uh, area, so we have an atrioventricular sulcus, so that's the co right coronary. These small little ones you might call marginals, okay, as they go around. The right coronary will anastomose with the left, as you can see it comes around here and forms the posterior interventricular or descending. It then anastomoses with the left coronary around the apex of the heart here. So here we have the left coronary, that's the right, the left coronary has two branches, the circumflex and the anterior descending or interventricular, which you can see anastomoses with the posterior interventricular at the apex of the heart. The circumflex continues around, so this is the main one feeding most of the heart, and will join with the right coronary on the posterior surface of the heart. Here we have a posterior branch of this left coronary. Now the vein, we have the great cardiac vein, which continues. See it, it comes up the interventricular sulcus, the, 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 yes, and then continues along the atrioventricular sulcus. Here we have the posterior uh, cardiac vein, marginals, middle cardiac vein, small cardiac vein, so small cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, great cardiac vein joined to make the coronary sinus. Okay. Um, mitral valve on this side, uh, ligamentum arteriosum, okay. Ascending aorta, what's that? Um, cephalic. Is that branchiocephalic? Mm -hmm. Jugular, common carotid. Common carotid, right. right, left side. Subclavian, what are these two? Superior vena cava. No, that is. What are these two? What are the tributaries to it? Hmm. Those two there. Branchiocephalic veins. These would be the. These are what we call the Brachinti fibers, the small branches. Okay. This would be going down too, so they should be the branch bundles. The branch bundles. Okay. And then what about the bundle of his? Which one of those? That would have been up in here, which you can't see. Up inside. Okay. All right. Now on this heart, you've got a few more things that are slightly different. You can see it doesn't look as attractive. You can see the, the same uh, vessels. There's the right coronary, there's the left coronary, interventricular and circumflex. But if you look at a few other things on here, you can see that there's your coronary sinus, all right there. And then you can also see the fossa ovale. Well, on this heart, if you go to this side, because obviously it goes from the one side to the other, there's the fossa ovale. Right on. So it goes from right to left. Make sense? Because obviously the blood is flowing from right to left. Okay. Um, you've got your arch. Now at the back of the heart, along the esophagus, you have like a heart falling apart. Now you have part of the thoracic duct. The thoracic duct goes behind the heart. So that's, an, uh, that's your lymphatic vessel bringing lymphatic fluid up into the subclavian vein. Uh, you have small vessels coming off of the descending thoracic aorta. These ones would be going into the mediastinum, the mediastinum, so those are mediastinals, right? So that would be that one here, the cordonite tendinae are more obvious, mm. and the papillary muscles more obvious. So that would be the main features on this one. Oh, on this one, I didn't notice. 
This heart has the azygous vein. This heart here has the azygous vein here, behind the heart, and there going into the superior vena cava. So that would have been for the azygous, and here it is here. Okay.